So what yeah. can we expect from this new series, girls? Mm, still COVID. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard because obviously, like, we were still limited in what we could do. And, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't... It was really difficult just because of all the things that were going on at the time, like with the wedding and the stress. And I just probably... I, I don't feel like... I was the best person to be filmed at that point. So we originally were only meant to be doing four episodes. So to then it get extended to end up being 10 episodes, it just wasn't something that I think any of us were prepared for. Um, I don't know how I coped with what I had on, never mind being Marnie with a baby as well. Like it was, it was just a lot this time. And I think I've learned that I won't film up and up, right up close to my wedding again because it was just too much. Yeah. Is it just, is it literally like they follow you? How, how does it work? They just, they come into our house like early morning and they don't need to like late. <laughs> That's basically it. And like they just thought that we do, I was filming like four times a week, which was just so tiring because I feel like in the times when I wasn't filming, I was just non-stop with rock. So it was like, I feel like I was so drained by the end of it and so tired, but it's just crap because it was all in COVID again. Like we didn't get to do any fun stuff, which just put a bit of a dampener on it. Um, but we still get to see a lot of stuff that was going on in our personal life, like the wedding and Holly's wedding and stuff. So I think it'll be still really fun to watch. And what happens when you um, watch these shows back, OG? Is it really exciting to see the other? Because obviously you don't know what's happening in other people's lives. Is it, is, it, is it nice to sit down and it's not all about you, if you know what I mean? You get to see other people. Yeah, I enjoy watching all of the other stories. Like, I always have, like, I hate watching myself. I'm just like, oh, that's so embarrassing. Like, I, I can't, I cringe, I cringe. I fast forward myself and watch everyone else. <laughs> And how does Casey feel about it? Because, like, he's kind of been entered into, into this life, really, hasn't he, with camera crews following him? Casey's got better and better each series. And this one, he was a lot more confident, a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. And what about Jacob? How's he coping, Holly? He's just getting a lot better now than he was before. I think, like, much more confident and much happier with filming. Because, you know, being... A, a footballer you have to be very careful with what you say and you know when you watch footballers interviews they're very straight down the lens and they don't show much of the personality because they don't want to say anything wrong or unprofessional um so it's just kind of like him allowing himself to show his personality now which I think he does and would you guys go back into the Georgia Shore house if you if you got offered an opportunity I don't know maybe just for a night would you want oh, to go and if the others did <laughs> It has to be everyone. Like, there would be no point in doing it half-hearted. Like, if everyone was going to go back, and I mean, like, the originals, like, it would have to be everyone, and we'd all have to go, and it would have to be, like, a big reunion. But there's no point in just, like, a couple of us doing it. It, it wouldn't make sense. But you think you'd all get on, though? <laughs> you probably wouldn't, but it's, that's, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I couldn't go with a hangover. I don't know about you. <laughs> Girls, lovely to see you, as always. 